What's going on everyone and welcome back once again to another modded Skyrim video. In the last video we were able to retrieve uh, the jagged crown and deliver it to General Tullius. And he gave us a message to deliver to the Yarrow of Whiterun, um, telling him like, hey, what is it? you might be attacked by the Stormcloaks. Alright, so we're off to Whiterun. What is it? What is it, Imperial? Oh my god, stop saying that. Alright, so we're off to go to White Run. I don't know why, but White Run always disappears whenever I have this quest. All right, so let's um, go deliver this message to Jarl Bolgruff. business only dragons I don't know anything about dragons but I have an important message from General Tullius y'all will definitely want to talk to him you'll find him in Dragon's Ridge at the top of the hill thank you I own the Pelagia farm just outside the city wall Alright, so we're off to deliver the message to Yarrow Bolgruff. Wanna hear a little Nord wisdom? I'm here to like See Helgen got hit by a dragon. Don't need to worry about that. Those horrors comes here. Only be ready does have its advantages. Finest cuts. Okay then. I can handle. But this talk of dragons, world gone mad, I say. No need to think about it. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what a pity. This is Dragon's Reach, House of Yarrow Bulgruff. What's the meaning of this interruption? Yarrow Bulgruff is not receiving visitors. I have a message from General Tullius. You better speak to the Yarrow then. Who's this then? Well, I trust you have something vitally important. Tell me, important enough to interrupt me in the middle of council? I have a message about, uh, from General Tullius. Oh yes? I wonder what that old busybody wants now. Whatever it is, it will have to wait until after I finish dealing with this dragon situation. I apparently have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. You were at Helgen when it was attacked? You saw this with your own eyes? Yeah, I was there. I saw the dragon burn Helgen to the ground. Why does it sound like it's raining? I'm sorry, but I gotta change some stuff. Uh, where's... Where is it in settings? Yeah, true terms is in settings. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon 
threatening the mountain. The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. He should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irelet, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Hey, right. uh, let's go talk to Faringar. County Dragon Breach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. The Yarrow said you had a project you needed help with? Hmm? What? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just wait for Yarrow Bulgrim the then. Yarrow can be found in the Great Hall, probably sitting on his Yarrow's throne. Well, he'll... Over here in a wizard's laboratory. He, he'll be on his way. He's right here. Someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. That's oh, yes, what I said. Referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Hey, just tell me what I have to do. You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleakmore's Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleakmore's Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Right. No, this is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight these dragons. Alright, right, we're off to Bleak Falls Barrow now. Alright. Um I can't deliver the message to Yara Bulgraf until after I complete um, this little bit of the main quest. I guess while I'm on my way over to Bleak Falls Barrow retrieving the Dragonstone. Look, the guard's gone. When I'm on my way over to Bleak Falls Barrow, I guess I'll give you um, some more history of the Empire since I did. Since I wasn't able to finish it last time. I believe we finished after uh, Talos was able to um, become the true High King of High King, no, true Emperor of Skyrim. Now, there's a couple other things that go on during the Septum Dynasty. Um, there's a couple um, wars. Well, not a couple. There's a lot of wars. Um, not the wars aren't really all that significant. But um, but there is one thing during the Septim Dynasty that is kind of a big deal, and that's um, the Oblivion Crisis. The Oblivion Crisis takes place when Martin Septim is the Emperor. And the Oblivion Crisis is basically when Mayrin's Dagon, one of the Daedric Princes, um, tries to take over Tamriel. He opens up all these gates to Oblivion, and Daedra start pouring out. And of course, if you've played the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, then you'll know quite a bit about what the Oblivion Crisis is, because that was the main event that was going on in that 
game you that was what you were trying to stop you were trying to stop the oblivion crisis but um event uh eventually Marin's day on does make it make his way into tamriel and fights off with martin septum who kind of turns himself into a dragon and ends up defeating um Mayron's Dagon, but at the cost of his own life. So, yeah, that's the Oblivion Crisis. After the Oblivion Crisis comes another crisis called the Umbriel Crisis. It's basically this undead army that the um, Imperial Legion was trying to fight off. They did end up suffering heavy casualties, but they and they did end up winning the fight and beating. Um, the Umbriel Crisis. Um, for those of you who don't know, Umbriel is this floating island that um, it's this floating island. Ooh. Right, that's actually pretty cool. It's this um, floating island that. Some like to think it's connected to the Hist in some way. Um, I'm not going to really explain what the Hist is because I personally don't really know what the Hist is. But um, yeah, it's this weird floating island with um, a very strange way of reproducing or creating new citizens, right? Um, the citizens are kind of born through these larvae that cocoon themselves and turn themselves into humanoid creatures like men and elves right um yeah um so and the citizens or the the umbrellians that live on top of this island can't actually leave the island and set foot onto Tamriel because they'll end up dying. Um, so the way that Umbriel fixes this is that it sends down these insects down to Tamriel that um, kind of explode into this black mist that corrupts um, that corrupts someone's mind and basically turns them into a zombie. And yeah, that's the undead army that. I was talking about that ended up fighting the Imperial Legion, right? And then after the Umbriel Crisis, ouch, after the Umbriel Crisis comes the Great War. I've already talked about the Great War um, a little bit, but um, I guess I'll talk about it um, a little bit more. Um, so the Great War is a war between um, the Empire and the Unmarried Dominion. Unmarried Dominion being um, the elves from the Somerset Isles. Um, they don't quite exactly like being told what to do by the Empire, so they end up um, kind of revolting and going um, fighting against the Empire. The Elves eventually do win the fight and kind of force Uriel Septim, um, not Uriel Septim, um, Titus Mead II, which is the current Emperor today, um, to sign this treaty called the White Gold Concordat, basically outlawing the rule of Talos. It also um, states that the blades are to be disbanded, which the blades being the bodyguards of the Emperor. Um, so yeah, that's really the extent of the Great War. Um, then after the Great War, we go into Skyrim, right? the Civil War of Skyrim. Which is, which is um, exactly what it sounds like. It's a civil war going on in Skyrim against the Stormcloaks and the 
um, Imperials. Right. Alright, so now that that's out of the way. Alright, so we're here at Bleak Falls Barrow. Bleak Falls Temple. I'm really all not all not that worried about sneaking about. Ow. Burning myself. All right. Um. Uh. All right. <laughs> I am all done messing around with my settings. Oh, there you go. Oof. I should probably get rid of that and that and that. All right. It's empty, empty. Let's start sneaking here because there's gonna be a bandit over here around the corner. We'll, we'll, we'll just watch him. Let's get a little bit closer to trigger him to walk forwards. Alright. Oh, that looks like that hurt. Alright, um, if we look up here, we can see that there's a snake there and a whale there. This one kind of fell off, but that's a snake, so it's snake, snake, whale. Snake, snake, whale. Snake, whale, snake, snake, whale. Alright, there we go, pull the lever. Right, I believe this is a skill book. It is. Open up the chest, there's some gold inside. I'll take the soul gem. Four skeevers. Hmm, I guess not. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oops, the wrong button. I'm just gonna quickly save here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? Alright, I need to heal up 
real quickly. Whoops, did not want to equip that. Um, let's drink some of those. I'm gonna have to equip my magic again. Charred up. Over here. You did it. You killed it. Now, yes, I did. Else shows up. Uh, where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, and the hall of story. I know how they all fit together. Help me down, and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Norns have hidden there. Hand over the claw first. Look like I can move. You have to cut me down first. Uh, fair, fair enough. Um, the claw, please. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? You should have handed over the claw to me. Uh oh. Uh, let's take the golden claw. We'll read his journal later. Um, we kind of have to deal with these Draugr first. Let's burn you to a crisp. Okay. That takes care of that. Ow, you're still on fire. When are you gonna go out? There we go. Amethyst gold. Alright, um That's a bit of a trap. Kind of an obvious trap. Um Let's kill this guy just to get some extra XP. Oh, don't use your ice on me. Alright. Can't wait while enemies are nearby. We ended up waking up the whole catacombs over here. Oh, are you gonna come up here? Oh, the other guy's an archer. Uh, jump over the fire. Okay, I guess my character didn't want to jump. Oh, cool! I can burn the bodies after I kill them. Right, let's really quickly wait to regenerate some of our health. And go, 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 go. Pull the chain. Hello, other druggers. There we are. Ow. There we go. Ow, you're still on fire. That's gonna happen to me a lot. I should take all the gold. Uh, 
Alrighty then. There we go. Let's grab the gold. Grab the gold. Pull the chain. Alright. Scroll of fireball. I'll take that. Alright, I know that there's a drug right here. Ouch. <clears throat> I come down here, I know there's a chest down here. Along with a couple of skeletons that might have some gold on them. Hey. Open up this chest. You take all that. A um, cool little fact um, here in Bleak Falls Barrow in this particular room. Um, I can't remember if they spawn um, after you've completed Bleak Falls Barrow and you come back later or what, but I believe up on that rock right there a person um, will spawn. He obviously dead. Um, he'll have a note on him, but there's actually no way to get up to him without console commands. If you shoot him with arrows, sometimes you can knock him loose and he'll fall down. But um, yeah, he's a person most likely um, related to a quest that was cut from the game by Bethesda, which isn't a surprise. There's a lot of quests that were cut from the game by Bethesda. Um, yeah, that's a cool little um, little thing that you guys can find. Also in the room up there where the waterfall is coming from, if you come back here in a later, um, at a higher level, I can't remember exactly le what level you need to be, but there will be a troll in that room. And when you leave Bleak Falls Barrow, if you come back here at a higher level, um, there will be a dragon waiting outside. Also, some people think that those two things are related to some sort of cut content. By Bethesda. You were nowhere as close to me to warn you trying to hit me from that far away. Nope. Oh. There you go. Alright, let's see if I can get into this chest right there we go bleak falls sanctum Another one of these. And go. Why, hello there, Mr. Trogger. for that other drugger up there to decide what he wants to do. Let's come in here. I'll take some of 
these. I thought there was more potions in here, but I guess not. Oh, that was a close one. Alright, um, that does it on this side. I just like burning up the oil that's on the ground. Alright, I believe we're in... Yeah, we're in the Hall of Stories. Alright, um... So, if you guys have done this... Um... Dungeon enough times, you'll... Probably know that if you just take all the rings and spin them twice, that should be the correct combination. And we can just double check by going into our miscellaneous, finding the golden claw and bear moth owl. Bear moth owl. All the combinations to the doors around the back of the claws. <clears throat> there is a reason for that um, why they made these doors so easy to get into in the first place it's not because they were trying to keep people out it's because they were trying to keep the drugger in right and the drugger aren't really the brightest if you know what I mean they're kind of a little bit dumb um, but in this room, not many people would know this, there are actually a total of three chests in this room. There's this one right here. Which I'm going to take everything out of this first that I want. There is a chest over in this direction right here. And then if you come up these stairs and drop behind this word wall there's another chest right here of course one of them is going to be locked uh, only one of them is locked and it's a novice lock so it's fairly easy to get into right, it looks like we leveled up i'm going to save that level up in case we need it um because this is kind of a tough fight let me draw my weapons real quick. Alright. Let's run over here. Get some hits on him before he can actually draw his weapon. And let's back up. I don't want to back up too far. Alright, there we go. Um, let's take that. We'll take everything else. There's a bit of a frenzy po uh, poison there. Let's take the solar gem. Hey, well that actually wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Um, we can level up now. Um, let's put some more points into magicka because we are going to be a magic user. Later on down the road when we actually start leveling up some of our other... Uh, magic skills. Come on. Alright. I don't believe there's anything else up here. But there is this chest down here. And you always want to make sure that you've done everything you wanted to do up there in Bleed Falls Barrow because once you drive down here, there really, I don't think there's any sort of way to get back up here. You can try all you want. I mean, console commands can get you back up there, but we're not about console commands. Alright. Now, out here in this area, there's a potion of true shot here, which I believe it increases your. Um, Potion of true shot right there. Yeah, bows do 20% more damage for 60 seconds. 
Um, like I said, if you come here at a later level after you've already completed Bleak Falls Barrow, um, there'll be a dragon that spawns here. I believe it's a named dragon. I can't quite exactly remember. Um, also, if you look around, there's a bunch of mammoth um, remains that are here. It's not exact. It's not really explained why there's mammoth remains here, but um, there's a bunch of mammoth skulls and rib cages and whatnot scattered around here right outside the end the exit of Bleak Falls Barrow. Right. Um so yeah maybe this is related to the dragon that spawns here afterwards or maybe it's just a graveyard that maybe it's just a graveyard that um that the giants bring their mammoths here. Um there's also some human remains here as well. Um, I think, I mean, they look like they're charred human remains. Again, might be related to that dragon that spawns in. Um, yeah, we can go deliver the dragon stone to Dragon's Reach. We'll give this dragon stone to Farnguard. All right. You see, the terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text, perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Uh, ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Yep, Seems there it is. Above the usual fruits the Jarl sends my way. Um, so what about my reward? You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friends here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when Barangar. you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. Me? Dragon. How exciting. Where was it seen? Okay. Or what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack White Run, I don't know if we can stop it. No, Let's we'll be able to stop it, alright. So, Irilef tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irilef, you'd better gather some guards when they get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster me. Huh? Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irilef and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. If you come along, I would very much like to see this dragon. 
No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irina. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Alright, and on that note, I'm going to end this episode of Modern Skyrim here. If you guys have been enjoying these videos, don't forget to um, leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel because that definitely helps me out a lot. And if you, have any, um, if you have any suggestions of videos you would like to see in the future, don't forget to leave those suggestions down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to read read them so I know what you guys would like to see in the future. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.